Hi hey guys, what are you from Phone Arena? I'm back with another unboxing video, this time uh, of the Samsung Galaxy A7 2016 edition of the device. So we also unboxed the Samsung Galaxy A5 before this. So this is uh, the bigger brother to that. The main difference being the screen, this thing is larger. It has a slightly bigger screen at 5.5 inches and also has a larger battery and a little bit more RAM. And it also priced more expensively. The MRP is about uh, 30, 6,000 on the box, but it's available for about 33,400. So let's also have the A7 from previous year. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A7 uh, from last year. So this is the device in black. So we have that for a comparison. So let's actually open up the seal. So this thing is the gold version of the device, as you can uh, see on the box itself, it's golden. And it's only Indian SIM card <laughs> uh, for the device. So you can't really use it abroad in case you don't activate it here, but then once you activate it, I think you have about five minutes of calling are needed to be made, and then it will work. So let's open up this, and it's a dual SIM device, as you can see, the two IMEs on the bottom. All right, <laughs> wow, this thing is pretty similar to the A5, and slightly bigger, A7. I don't really, don't really like this golden home button. Looks uh, so uh, distracting, but I really like the build quality of the device, so let's, get rid of this uh, wrapper on the outside and inside so okay slightly heavier it's about 172 grams in terms of the weight compared to the a5 uh, also from 2016 as you can see right next to each other slightly bigger form factor on the a7 let's put the device aside and let's put the a7 2016 to the a7 from 2014 as you can see it's pretty much the same uh, size in terms of the height but uh, it seems slightly narrower the new device and also probably it's pretty much the same thickness a little bit thicker i would say the new a7 so let's actually power on the device and while it's powering on we'll probably uh, show you through the box contents so quick start guide let's open it up I think we should be getting the SAR value from there. We have the quick start guide, SAR information, warranty card. So the SAR information is about 0.391 watts per kilogram for the device. And this is a quick start guide. And also you get the SIM ejector tool. And then you have the USB cable. You also get a fast charger for a quick charge uh, device uh, for the power has adaptive fast charging which is which first made debut in the galaxy s6 uh, so that's pretty useful for charging the device considering it has a 3300 mAh battery it's pretty useful in your uh, headphones with control switches so that's pretty standard so that's about it so let's put all this aside and take a look at the device itself so the screen this phone is all set up and powered up so as you can see, Samsung is having time with Microsoft and you actually have some of the Office apps and OneDrive uh, preloaded. So it's a mix radio as well and Opera Max as well. So it's a 5.5 inch full HD display on the front and it's powered by 1.6 GHz Octa-Co Exynos 750 processor and you have 3 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. It's running on Android 5.1 uh, something lollipop. It's not got uh, marshmallow yet so it's android 5.1.1 and let's actually take out the storage so you have about 10.82 gb available to you and you also can put in a sd card on the side here so that's uh, in addition to the two nano sim card slots you have a 5 megapixel camera on the front over here and next to the earpiece on the back you have a 13 megapixel camera with OIS or optical image stabilization and uh, an LED flash. It's packing a 3000 mAh battery with fast charging and it's fast charger chips in the box as we told you and it's about 172 grams and uh, slightly expensive for an A series device but then it's uh, got some pretty interesting specs. We also have some offers with uh, Atel and Snapdeal for this device so it's going to be showing the fingerprint sensor so there's also a fingerprint sensor under the home key or the main button here so you just tap on it to you don't even have to tap on it you just need to do this so just press your finger on it and it's going to be unlocking so that's pretty nice to have 
considering most phones have it so that's pretty much it on the device so nothing else here so you have the 3 frame audio jack micro usb port the speaker on the right side you have the sim card tray plus memory card tray also the power lock switch and on the left you have the volume rocker i mean you don't have a volume rocker but two separate buttons for the volume the top you have another tray for the second sim and another microphone so that's pretty much it so that was a quick hands-on and unboxing of the samsung galaxy a7 2016 edition